how anybody can implement these simple SEO rules into their Wix website to help them rank better in the local area where they're providing those services. I'm going to show you how I use those simple rules to help this venting contractor in Hermiston, Oregon, get their business listed in the Google Maps listing by implementing these simple rules. Check them out. I'll show you how to make that happen for your business. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself SEO, where I help home service contractors and companies and businesses understand search engine optimization and getting their business found for the services that they provide in their local market. And on this quick video, I'm going to share with you guys, uh, once again, my simple rules of SEO that you can implement onto a Wix website to help it rank better on the search results. Now, I go into these rules all the time onto my on my YouTube channel right here, but I just wanted to show you again, just a, a case study again, to show you that these, these rules always seem to work because Google's not as complicated and people try to make it more complicated than it really should be. The people tell you to write down these keywords and all this other stuff. And it's just, it's just really complicated, especially in a local market. It doesn't need to be that, that complicated. What I did here is I implemented my SEO rules to a fencing company out in Hermiston, Oregon. It's not a very big area. Um, uh, last I checked, it's a kind of a growing area, uh, but this gentleman wanted some help, wanted to, to show up more in the map listing because he wasn't ranking on there. And I told him, if we just implement this stuff, fix, fix up your site, that site is connected to your Google listing and all the information from that website is going to relay into your Google listing and start to push that listing up towards the top of the search results. So that's exactly what I did. So what are these four basic rules that I follow with, with uh, SEO and how you can implement it onto your Wix website? And this was done on Wix, uh, which has grown on me over the years. It's still a pain in the ass for me to work on. I still will do it. I'm designing templates and stuff like that. So it could just, you know, get the structure go going on there and make it a lot easier. But if you implement this stuff on, on the Wix website, honestly, in most websites, it, the, the websites will rank. I still prefer, way prefer more WordPress just because it's easier to deal with, easier to maintain, easier to add blog posts. It is easier to do so many things on, on WordPress. It's just a much easier process, but I still don't frown upon Wix. Wix is fine. It has everything you need to do to, to make a website rank. So I'm going to show you exactly the steps that I used to help this website rank in Hermiston, Oregon, right? So when somebody types in fence company who lives in that area, you type in fence company where you're at, you're going to get completely different results uh, because uh, the search is geographic. When you put in a, two words just like that, and I know people are starting to get lazy and they know they have a like a subconscious understanding that their phone is going to give them local results. So this was the aim. Ultimately, it's for all the search terms, but fence company and his business is right there in the map pack. Fence contractor, you'll see his business right there. And also when you type in Hermistine, the actual location, the map pack, it will pop in and out. It's It's a, been fairly new change to the website, but it, it's already ranking here uh, underneath in the organics. So what exactly are those rules? Okay, like I always implement, I always talk about. It's the simple things. Um, first of all, before you begin any of this SEO stuff on your website or anything like that, you have to think about your customers. It doesn't matter what the industry might be, be it a, you're a concrete contractor, you're a junk removal business, you're a DJ, you're a, a pergola builder out in Las Vegas. It doesn't matter. Always think about what your customer is going to be typing in into Google in order to look for your services. That is your main objective. That's what you should be doing. Like I said, that's why I always tell contractors, place yourself in your customer's shoes. What would they be typing on the search engines to look for your business? And in this case, it was incredibly simple. Fence company, fence contractor, fence company near me. That is, that's a wood fence builder, fence repair, that thing. Whatever comes to mind, that's, that's what you should be writing. I know that there's a lot of tools. People tell you to write down keywords and things like that. This is the, my approach. It's just to think like a human being, write what people are going to be typing in, and you're going to get found eventually for some of these things, depending on the competition, of course. If you're a fence company in Houston, Texas, you're going to get your ass kicked. There's no way uh, it's really, really going to happen. You could do it. You might have to niche down to like a wood fence or something like that. But in a small area, you there's you have no it's no contest. You're going to be able to you know blow the doors off people. So that's the very first thing that we did. 
was restructured the website and had it formatted so it says fence fence company fence contractor in Hermistine, Oregon. So the very first thing I always talk about is to fix the title tag and the meta description. Those are the very first two things you need to fix on any website. Like I always talk about, um, when I type in fence company or concrete contractor or anything like that, as soon as I type that into Google, right? If I type in concrete con or fence contractor, I type that into Google. This is giving me the results from that search result based on my geographic location, right? So what Google's doing in essence, it's creating a, a giant drawer with, with files of pages for that particular search. So what you need to do with your website is make sure it's labeled the tab at the top. It's labeled correctly and it says fence company uh, for the, your location. And then the meta description also tells Google, the search engine, that this is exactly what you're going to be found for. So that's exactly what we did with, with this website. It's not showing it right now because it takes it time for it to populate. We restructured it to say Premier Fence Company Hermiston, Oregon, Prodigy Fence. Like I said, it doesn't show it quite yet because it said it takes a while for Google to refresh uh, the website that it just crawled, right? But you can see that we changed the meta description as well to say looking for a top-notch fence company in Hermiston, Oregon. Right. We always included all the keywords into that as well. And see, like I said, on Wix, it's super simple. You can fix this. But on most most website builders and things like that will allow you to change that to whatever you want it to be found for. So that's the very first thing you need to do with your website. The next part of the rules that I follow for SEO is the H1 title tag. Um, it's just like crucial, you know, SEO 101, super basic stuff. Everybody should know this by now. But I always explain to uh, customers to contractors, you know, business owners that when you were a kid and you, you had to write a book report on, let's say Thomas Jefferson, and you turn in your book report and, and the, on the, the front page of the cover, there's no title on it. It just says book report or it just says something. Your teacher is going to be upset with you because he doesn't know what the hell that book report's all about. So you make sure you title it, uh, my book report on Thomas Jefferson. So the same thing with Google happens with the websites. You have to tell each specific page, what that page is going to be about, right? So again, H1 title tag, we did expert fence company, Hermiston, Oregon, serving all Eastern Oregon. So you can see the keywords right there, fence company are in the H1 title tag. Now when Google crawls this website, it knows that this is what you want to be found for. This is your main keyword of your website. The next part of it is the H2 title tags and also sprinkle in some H3s. The H2s, I the sub headline of your main, main web website's headline, right? Fence company. So I'll show you how we implement this in here. Looking for a friendly local fence company in Eastern Oregon. These are titled H2. So with Wix, you have the option to change what each one of these sentences, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H5 paragraph, whatever it might be. So just structure these to be H2s. Another H2 right there. Another H2. I think usually try to add it like four, maybe five times, and that's about it. You don't want it like sprinkled. You don't want to make it look like really, really spammy or anything. Just make it look natural. Make it look like um, where people don't even notice it, but it's there basically, right? So you can see I put it in there like four times, and it reinforces to Google's search engine that this is what your website's about, and it kind of reinforces it to your customers too. And then I sprinkle in the H3s. H3s are usually like subcategories, like privacy fencing, fence repairs, new fences, blah, blah, blah. These are H3 title tags. And this, again, reinforces to the search engine what this page is all about. And then the final thing that we did for the website was to create some content on the website. Good content. About a thousand words. Uh, I know in past videos, because SEO is always progressing, always changing, I'm finding that you don't really need as much content as I you know, compared to 2000 words or anything like that. As long as a thousand words, it's good content and it flows. People read your stuff and people take action on your website. You know, that, that should be good enough to get things going. And you guys are in your industry, you know, be you're a painter, a junk removal company, um, somebody who rents a photo booth, a DJ, whatever it might be. You guys know your industry more than anybody. You should be able to string a little bit of sentences together. Use ChatGPT help you clean that up. And it's not really, really all that difficult to write the content for it. I have another video in one of my videos that shows you 
how I come up with content for industries I have freaking no idea about. And I still am able to create content um, just by using ChatGPT, using the internet, just doing a little bit of research to get that going. So that's what we did. We added a thousand words of content, sprinkled in some of the keywords that people will, you know, usually look for when it comes to a fence company. And then Google tells you, watch, if you go into Google, if you type in fence company, right, you're going to find a section here on Google that's going to say suggested uh, searches. See that? Fence company, uh, metal fence company, wood fence company, residential fence company, see things like that. And then this you could sprinkle some of those words in there. This is exactly what we did. New fence installation, property fencing, vinyl fencing, temporary fe wood fencing, metal chain link fencing, things like that. And this will allow you to create specific service pages as well, right? New installations, ter temporary fencing, wood fencing, things like that. And then each one of these pages follows the exact same rules of SEO for each one of those. You can see up here, Expert Word Fence Installation Servicing Hermesine, Oregon, right? And that's the meta, the title and the H, I mean, I'm sorry, the title and the meta description. You got the H1 title tags, H2 title tags, content on the page. On the service page, you don't need as much content, like 500 words should do it. The main one is the home page, right? But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just basic stuff. You know, the title tag. Meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, H3s, and then the content on your page. There's additional things that you need to go into, like, um, you know, properly titling the pictures on your on your website. So Google knows that these pi pictures are about fencing in a particular area. Um, that stuff on your, on your, you know, the picture in your banner, things like that. But the basic, basic stuff is basically all you need to get things started. And just send a signal to Google that, look, man, this is my Wix website. I wanted to get found for this particular service. And that's all you really need to get things going. There was a guy out in Calgary who was a DJ. He's been watching my videos and he implemented some of his stuff on his Wix website. And he just wanted to reach out to me and show me that his website was ranking, his, his Google map listing was ranking into the three pack. So if I type in wedding DJ in Calgary, I click on that. There it is. Miko Entertainment. I took a look at his website. He did a tremendous job, right? See, look at that H1 title tag right there. He did the meta description, Calgary wedding DJ. He did the, what do you call it? The meta description correctly. Added the content, Calgary wedding DJs. I can see he did it just from scanning it. I can see he did a tremendous job, added good content. And now it's kicking ass is out there ranking or pushing the ranking of his map listing. And with time, his website will also climb in the rankings here. Last I checked, he was like number 20 or something like that. If I could find him here. There he is. But you can see in his meta description, he put it in there too. Calgary and Wedding DJ. So those are the rules you need to follow for a Wix website or basically any Wix website to start ranking out on Google and get better results, get more traffic get customers looking for what you got and it positions you perfectly uh, to get found for those services that you provide and it positions you in a, in a, and people will see you in a different light. Cause they see you on the top of Google. They feel like subconscious. They feel like you're somebody who's important. Somebody who was like deserves to be up there that you must be damn good at what you do. So that you can even expect people to not price haggled you on whatever the service you got going on. They just, you're presented in a different light when you rank high on the search engines on Google. So that's all I want to share with you guys. Another example of doing SEO for a Wix website. If you guys want to know how to do some of the stuff yourself, I have a free crash course on SEO underneath. If you want me to help you with do this, implement all this SEO stuff, help you rank and make a com more competitive market in, in anywhere in the USA, uh, more than happy to help you with that too. All my links are in the description below. And you guys want to learn more about this SEO, just keep watching all my videos. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.